Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 35 in chapter 6. In this one, we have three identical mass m, and which is located at the point to and z. Just construct the triangle. Each side is equal, right? This is how it works. And then the center is there. And then we need you to find the speed for each one. So we first look at this one. We take this one as example. So the force act on this uh, uh, body. First one is the gravitational force between this one and this one. Do you agree? And also this uh, force between this one and this one. Do you agree? At each side, we can see for this gravitational force, it is uh, G ma m times m divided by L squared because each side is L. And then for this force, because these the three identical mass, it's still the circular motion. For circular motion, we need to find the central force and up, right? So in this uh, gravitational force can be projected to the uh, tangent direction and the realist direction. So when it is projected in the tangent direction, this one, and projected in the R direction pointing to the center, radical direction R is there. And same thing, this force is still the G, M squared divided by R squared. So this force can be projected into direction, tangent, and the radius, right? So you can see this uh, tangent direction, this one and this one cancels. We only look at the uh, central force. So the central force just uh, this term plus this term, so it's two times. And then we know this force is F. And then projected on this direction, how much for this one? F cosine theta, agree? F cosine theta, so two times F cosine theta equals the mass times the central acceleration. Central acceleration is V squared divided by R. We need to find V squared, um, v, v, velocity, speed, so next one, we need to find this R, the radius for this uh, circular motion. So how can you find this R? Easy, because we know this angle theta. And we know this side is L divided by 2. So it is it looks like R times cosine theta equals this side, right? So R times cosine theta equals this side. This side is L divided by 2. In this one, we can write this R as L divided by 2 cosine theta. Now you can see in this equation, the F, we input the F there, and we input the R there, and then all the quantities are given. And then you can see to simplify this equation, it looks like this one, 2 cosine theta can be cancelled. And then the mass cancelled one, and then simplify this equation, we find a very easy and beautiful equation, look like this one, and then we can find the velocity is squared gm divided by l. This is how we do this problem. You can see, when we solve this problem, at first of all, oh, so difficult. But then, don't worry, you just figure out for the circular motion, what force is the central force, and this central force equals the mass times the central acceleration, then you can solve it. And there, because some students maybe feel so worried because they don't know how much degree for this angle theta. If you don't know, don't need to worry too much. If the problem don't tell you, you can just keep it there and put it in the erection. At some point, it cancelled. Thank you.